Bull riding is one of the most exciting and intense sports where riders try to stay on powerful bucking bulls. It's thrilling to watch, but it's also very dangerous. Do you know how many lives have been lost in this sport? Now, before you think that bull riders don't wear safety gear, know that the sport has now made it necessary to wear helmets and safety gear, but even with the gear and rules, the sport continues to remain dangerous. Today's video highlights some of the most tragic deaths in bull riding history. We'll take a closer look at the risks involved and remember those who lost their lives in this dangerous yet thrilling sport. Stay tuned. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that bell icon and subscribe to our channel for more amazing rodeo content. Number 1. Glenn Keeley Number 1 on our list of people who died from bull riding is Glenn Keeley. If we talk about Glenn Keeley, he was the most renowned Canadian bull rider, known for his courage and skill in the rodeo arena. He made his mark in the professional bull riders PBR circuit in the early 90s. Known for his fearless approach and incredible skill, Keeley quickly became a favorite among fans and fellow riders alike. His determination and passion for the sport were clearly seen every time he climbed onto the back of a bull. Glenn Keeley's career was marked by so many accomplishments. Throughout his career, he achieved multiple top finishes and was a consistent performer in the bull riding circuit. Glenn Keeley's tragic death occurred during a bull riding event at the Albuquerque, New Mexico on March 24, 2000. Keeley was competing when he was thrown violently from the bull, which led to a series of devastating injuries. As Keeley was thrown, the bull's powerful and erratic movements contributed to a severe impact. He landed awkwardly on the ground, and the bull's hooves struck him in the upper body. The primary injury was a severe blow to the chest area including a critical injury to his heart. The force of the impact caused catastrophic damage. Keeley also sustained multiple rib fractures that compounded the severity of the injuries. Even with an immediate medical response, Keeley's injuries were way too severe. His passing was a big tragedy in the rodeo community, highlighting the inherent dangers of the sport and the incredible risks that riders like Keeley faced. Number 2. Hugh Mills the next one on our list is Hugh Mills. On December 31, 2022, the Warwick New Year's Eve rodeo was struck by a heartbreaking accident that ended the life of 25-year-old Hugh Mills from Athelwood in northern New South Wales. Mills had traveled 180 kilometers interstate to take part in the Namas bull riding event, a sport he loved deeply. During the rodeo, Mills mounted the bull with determination and excitement, but about halfway through his ride, something went terribly wrong. The bull bucked wildly, throwing Mills off its back. As Mills fell, the bull's leg came down hard on his back. Even though Mills was wearing a helmet and a protective vest, the injury was too severe. The rodeo's medical team rushed to help him immediately. They worked behind a white shield to give Mills some privacy as they treated him. The crowd watched in shock and sadness as the paramedics loaded Mills into an ambulance. The rodeo community and everyone who knew Hugh Mills are mourning his loss. His passion for bull riding and his warm, friendly nature will be remembered fondly by all who had the chance to know him. Number 3. Jason Gustavo Artavia Vasquez Our next athlete who died in bull riding is Jason Gustavo Artavia Vasquez. Jason Gustavo Artavia Vasquez was a bull rider from Costa Rica who tragically died in a rodeo accident in 2018. He was only 28 years old at the time of his death. The accident happened during a bull riding event in Upala, a town in the Alajuela province in Costa Rica. As we know, the goal is to stay on a bucking bull for as long as possible, usually aiming for at least 8 seconds. On that day, Vasquez aimed to achieve the same as he was riding a particularly aggressive bull. The bull bucked wildly. Vasquez tried his best to hold on, but the bull's powerful movements eventually threw him off. What made this incident even more tragic was that when Vasquez fell, the bull also lost its balance and fell on top of him. The bull was very heavy, and it crushed Vasquez under its weight. Unfortunately, the bull didn't stop there. It continued to move around, which caused more harm to Vasquez, who was already unconscious. Despite the quick response of people nearby who rushed him to the hospital, Vasquez did not survive the injuries and was pronounced dead shortly after arriving in hospital. Number 4. Seth Salto Moving on to the next one, Seth Salto. 
Seth Salto, a promising bull rider from Maskawakas, Alberta. When he was just 14 years old, he already made his name in the sports. His biggest inspiration was his grandpa, who was also a bull rider, which always made him connected to the sport. He qualified for the Indian National Finals Rodeo INFR in Las Vegas three times, and he dreamed of joining the professional bull riders PBR circuit. On the day of July 2, 2023, Seth was participating in a rodeo event, riding one of the bulls in the competition. Seth experienced something tragic that ended his life. After the incident, Seth was able to get up and leave the arena on his own. This was a notable point as it indicated that he might have initially felt well enough to move. One of the noticeable points in his last moments is that he requests that they call his grandfather, which makes it clear that he knows he isn't going to survive this attack. Seth Salto's death was a huge loss for the rodeo community. His skill, passion, and close bond with his grandfather made him stronger for the game, and everyone knew him was inspired by his love for this sport. His family also went through a great loss. They had big dreams for Seth as a cowboy and saw him as someone who could achieve great things. Even though he's gone, his memory and dedication is a sign of commitment to bull riding and will always be remembered by those who knew him. Number 5. Peter DeLuna Last on our list is Peter DeLuna. Peter Isaac DeLuna, a young and talented bull rider from San Antonio, Texas, tragically died on August 29, 2024, following a devastating accident at a rodeo event. Born on February 13, 2002, De Luna was just 22 years old and had only started his bull riding career in May 2023. Despite being relatively new to the sport, he quickly made a name for himself, showcasing his skills and passion in the Riding on Faith Rodeo Summer Series. De Luna's rapid rise in the rodeo world was a testament to his talent and dedication. His enthusiasm and hard work were evident, and he was seen as a promising young rider with a bright future ahead. Tragically, his career was cut short by a serious accident. On August 29th, during a rodeo event, De Luna was thrown from the bull and then struck by the animal's hooves. Even though everyone managed to walk him away from the immediate scene, he collapsed soon after. Emergency services were immediately called to the scene and De Luna was rushed to a nearby landing zone for urgent medical care. But unfortunately, even after all the efforts of the medical teams on site, they weren't able to save him because of his severe injuries. Peter De Luna's death was a huge loss and everyone around him knew his spirit for the sport. As we've come to the end of all these tragic deaths, it's important to remember the risks and passion of bull riding. The bull riders we talked about, Glenn Keeley, Hugh Mills, Jason Gustavo Artavia Vasquez, Seth Salto, and Peter DeLuna were all brave individuals who loved the sport deeply. Their tragic deaths show us how dangerous bull riding can be, even with safety gear and rules in place. These riders faced huge challenges and showed great bravery. Their stories remind us of the risks involved in bull riding, but also their dedication towards the sport. As we honor their love for the sport, let's not forget the heart and skill that goes into bull riding. Thank you for watching and learning about these incredible riders. Before you go, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel for more content about bull riding and other exciting sports. We appreciate your support and hope you continue to respect the athletes who take on these challenges. Until next time, stay safe and keep the spirit of bull riding alive.